What's up everybody? It's your boy Will Carter and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. Before you go any further, make sure you are subscribing to my channel. Hit that bell notification icon so that you get alerted each and every time I make an upload. And if you guys want to keep up with me off of YouTube, you can check me out on both of my social media pages, Instagram and Twitter, both at I'm Will Carter. All the links are going to be down in the description box so you can find it with no problems. On my last YouTube video, I was responding to um, comments that you guys have been leaving on my videos. So I had to like go back and look at every video that I have posted and I noticed that I haven't made a candle making video in a long time. Like it's really been a few weeks since I've actually made a candle here on YouTube for you guys. And I figured that since candle making was on the schedule for today anyway, I might as well just cut the camera on and bring you guys along for the ride. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. We're gonna be making some candles together. Let's not waste no time. Let's go make some candles. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be making candles in my rust orange colored vessels. Out of all of the colors that I played around with, this is definitely by far my favorite. And um, the fragrance I'm using is actually my favorite out of all of them too. Okay, so first order of business is to figure out how much wax I'm going to be needing to measure everything out. So each of my um, vessels, they hold a total of eight ounces. These are eight ounces. But as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I always like to measure out a half of an ounce extra just in case. So I'm gonna be measuring out 8.5 ounces. My pitcher here, this can hold a total of four pounds. So with 8.5 ounces as a fill weight, I can actually measure out a total of seven full candles in this pitcher. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, measuring out seven candles. With a 9% fragrance load, I'm going to be needing 1.71 pounds of my soy tan and coconut wax. I never work without gloves. My hands are too pretty to be getting fucked up, bitch. What I like to do is I don't actually like uh, measuring things out and then putting it straight into the pitcher only because it's blocky and sometimes like I put a you know too big of a block inside and I have to pick it up and then like chop it down smaller so I can get the right measurement so I actually like to measure everything out individually separately first and then I just kind of put it all into the pitcher afterwards I really hate slabs I like most definitely prefer to use um the shavings, like the 464 comes out, but unfortunately, y'all yeah, know I don't fuck with 464, so that's not happening today or tomorrow. Perfect. 1.71. Normally, I actually just would put my um, pitcher directly on my double boiler um, with the first wax in there because then it would start melting and most of it down and then like it's a lot lower and then you don't have to worry about the space issue. Because again, these are blocks and chunks, not the shaving. So it's harder to fit everything in here. And now that that's finished, I'm gonna move on and measure out my Soy 10. We're gonna do this in the same exact way that we did the Coconut 83. I have my Tupperware here, and we're just gonna measure out the exact number we need, which is the same number, because it's 50-50 blend, 1.71. So now I have 1.71 pounds, which is exactly what I need. And I'm not gonna bother checking to make sure it's accurate because I know that it's accurate, bitch, I'm Will Carter, so. Again, normally after I put in the first 
wax. I have it melting down so like we don't have all this situation here, but. Okay, next order of business. Um, I need to start melting down my wax on the highest level and I'm going to be placing this directly in. And this is just gonna do what she does on her own. And now it's time to move on to the next step. What I, what I wanna do now is start wicking um, all of my vessels. Um, normally, back in the day, I used to wick everything and measure fragrance oil dowels and prepare my vessels um, before I actually started like melting down my wax and everything but i found that when you're working with so much wax at a time it takes so long to melt down and i'm just really impatient sitting around just waiting for it to melt when i have nothing to do so that's why i've changed it now i'll let my wax melt and then i'll prep and i'll get my vessels ready and measure out my oils and everything and by the time i'm done with this my wax may still not be up to the temperature that i want it to but at least it should be close enough just make sure I just wipe down the insides a little bit. I don't really spray anything in it. Maybe I should get into the habit of doing that, but I really don't. And just prepare to start wicking these. So I'm using the Eco 12. I got these from the Flaming Candle. Um, came in a pack of 25. I didn't need that much. I want to show you guys my trick of getting my wick nice and centered, right? I have, there is a whole like system here, you'll be surprised on how I actually do this. So I took a cardboard and I cut this little circular mechanism that I use in the center of my vessels. And what it does is it kind of helps me like, kind of like as a guide on where to put my wick. So you just put it in the center there and it's like centered. So all I do is place that little device in there, take my wick and I just put it right in the center where the circle is. Just that easy. And then I pull it out and I'm centered. Well, as centered as centered can get with the handmade device. And once I got my wick centered in the bottom, I'm going to take one of my wick centering devices. I got these off of Amazon. I was using this initially, but I really don't like these, to be honest. I, I really don't. Um, these came with my picture in the uh, in the order, and I found that uh, they are really flimsy. See, look at that. They bend really easy, and they're just not good. So I actually don't like these at all. So I use this. So I just hold it up like this, hold it, stretch it, and then I like to just bend it inward and put it down into the hole there. And I'll just keep it centered just like that nicely. So now that all of my vessels are wigged and ready to go, I am now going to measure up my fragrance oil. I'm going to be using the fragrance Cineberries from the Flaming Candle. You might remember this from my video where I was testing out some samples from the Flaming Candle. Um, I love this one so much. My family loved this one so much. So we're going to be using this for these candles. Um, so I'm using a 9% fragrance load. So I need to measure out what is the number? I need to measure out 4.91 ounces for all of these candles for all seven. However, um, this is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. This is not going to actually comfortably hold um, 4.91 ounces. Not, not. It's going to like feel really, really, really um, 
really hot to the brim. So I'm actually going to measure one ounce in the smaller one first and then measure out 3.91 ounces in the larger one just because I don't want any, any spills or accidents. So I'm gonna have to invest in some bigger. Oh, bitch. Um, also, I wanna talk about this top that I have. I got this top off of Amazon. They're little, um, little top with a little nozzle. It makes pouring so much easier, so much cleaner, no spills, no mess. I mean, I'm not gonna say no spills and no mess, but not as much. You know what, I think I'm gonna measure out two ounces in this one, actually. So I'm gonna keep these off to the side until I'm ready to use them. Okay, so after a little bit of waiting, not too much waiting, um, I do have a temperature of 191. Let me show you guys can see that. 191, perfect. Perfect timing to start pouring in my fragrance oils. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, Take my picture off of here. And I'm gonna move this off to the side using my gloves because these, it's like really, really hot. Now that that's done, I'm gonna pour my fragrance oils directly in, both of them. And the other. And I'm just going to stir for, I don't know, just about one minute. So working with my Soy Tan Coconut 83 blend, I actually pour right away. As soon as I'm done mixing, I start pouring. I'm just going to move these lids out of the way. And I'm gonna start pouring. I have to be honest, the hardest part about pouring, honestly, is trying to gauge where I'm supposed to stop. Because I don't really have a stop or anything or any way of like really trying to like know when I'm supposed to stop pouring. Cause you know, you want eight ounces for these candles. These are eight ounce candles. And I wanna make sure that I'm not cheating anybody. And I wanna make sure that they're all like getting the same amount, you know? But um, I don't have a way to do that just yet. So for now, Guess what? We're just gonna have to just try and wing it, you know? At some point, I do plan on like, you know, getting some tool, whether I make it myself or find something on Amazon or Etsy or any of the candle supplier or websites to find something to kind of help me gauge exactly where I'm supposed to stop pouring for these candles. Because again, I wanna make sure everyone is getting eight ounces. You know, I don't really mind if they get a little bit more than eight ounces. I don't mind that. It's just, I wanna make sure no one's getting under eight ounces. That's what I'm the most worried about. And then also you have to remember too, two guys, um, and also as a reminder, I'm only, I only have seven candles worth inside this picture and I have two, four, six, eight, nine. So I'm only gonna be able to pour one more of these. All right. I think I can put a little bit more maybe in here. Maybe a little more in there. And then, you know, I'm also worried about um, the lid because if I pour too much, then when I um, cut the wicks, I need enough space to make sure that the lids are good. 
So again, guys, like I'm really just like winging this. I need a better way to kind of figure out where to stop. But for the most part, I think, I think this is good. I think they're fine. I've done this enough times to kind of like eyeball it, you know? And there you guys have it. You know, I always say that every time there's like a transition, right? I don't think my candle making process has changed that much, but it changed a little bit, just a little. But I'm sure any other candle maker is gonna agree to this that it's probably always gonna change, you know, every couple of months or every time I, ex you know, try something new or experiment with something different, there's always gonna be some changes or maybe I'm just gonna decide like, hey, I don't like this flow no more. Let's switch her up. With my launch date range vastly approaching, like I'm really trying to like bang out making all these fucking candles because I mean, it's really not that hard because like once you figure out your formula and you figure out like your wicks, percentages, your blends and all that stuff, I just feel like it's just all about just making them. Fingers crossed that by the next two, three videos, there's gonna be like a collection reveal. So just bear with me, be patient. There is a candle collection coming really, really soon, my winter 2021, so bear with me. And now that we've arrived here to the end of this video, as always, make sure you are subscribing to my channel because bitch, if you haven't done it already, you fail it. No, I'm just kidding, you don't have to, but it'd be nice if you did. And if you did, hit that bell notification icon. Follow me on my social media pages to keep up with me in my everyday daily life and like this video and drop a comment. And with that all being said, I hope you guys have a beautiful good morning, a beautiful good afternoon, a beautiful good night, and of course, a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you on next week's video.